What's up guys, Alex Reactions here and we're about to discover together the new cast of RuPaul's Drag Race season 13. And is it too, too soon for a new season? I don't think so, it's never too soon for a new season of RuPaul's Drag Race. And we're about to know the new 13 queens, where they're from, uh, their age and their names and how they look in and out of drag. Let's get to know the first one. Just a few years of drag. Oh. I have okay. many years of performance experience. So you better get ready because okay. I'm going to uh, I'm going to shows on these hopes. So the beginning is like boom. <laughs> Denali. My name is Denali. I am Denali. Years old. I'm sorry. <laughs> Denali in its native language means the great one. So done, finished, period. My okay. Drag is definitely of the elements. It's a so, the first queen is Denalis. She is from Chicago, but she's actually born in Alaska. And I really like her. Now, let's check the next queen. I mean, if you didn't come here to win and compete, like, why are you here? You can buy Instagram followers. <laughs> Elliot with two T's. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Hi, my name is Elliot with two T's. I am 27... <sighs> Are you... I'm 26 years old and I'm from Me Las too. Vegas, Nevada. I've been doing drag for 12 years, so... I'm wow, well, 12 years off, of drag, I mean, it's a lot. When it comes to my drag... Um, I don't know. I don't know what to think about her. I mean, I... I hope she she's about to surprise me. I don't know. Next queen. Can you like push down the coat so you don't see what? it? I like when this is the top. This is the Yeah. Oh yeah, this is stunning. Love it. I need to be the first trans winner of RuPaul's Drag Race. Period. Oh. <laughs> I'm 23 years old and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I love to look like a weird alien freak thing, kind of a pit oh, you do. structured silhouette. Very. I'm actually team. Got me for now, just for now. Next queen, let's discover. I'm very competitive, but I'm like sportsmanlike. I'm a, I'm a good loser and I'm a great winner. I came to win, why would you not? Girls would kill to be here, and if you didn't come to win, like, shame on you. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Joy J. Uh, okay. <laughs> Joy J. The real name of Joy J is Joy J. She doesn't wear wigs because she's lazy, but let's not judge her for now. I love it. When they hear my name, they go, bitch, put a wig on. But that's why I'm here and they're not, so it worked out really well. I'm not concerned about being around queens with big personalities because I brought a bunch of marbles. So I like Kamora Ho. I mean, um, I don't know what she's really about. I mean, she doesn't do splits. She's not a look queen. So 
I understand what she's not. I'm not a pageant girl, even though like everyone in my family has done pageants. That's just because in my delusional world, I'm already a beauty queen winner. I mean, there's another thing that she does not. Uh, okay. Honestly, if I'm being like the, like the most honest, 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 I'm most nervous about the food. Like, bitch, I'm a picky eater. Oh, also, I'm nervous that if the girls don't like me, no one's gonna shave my back. Because I have a really hairy back. And the last thing I need is to walk on the runway, and we'll probably be like, oh my god, what is that? What is that? <laughs> okay, stop, stop. Ah, I got right, I do back for the splits. I also lie, because all I was lie, I don't do any of that. <laughs> but I make people have a good time, and, um, and I'll she has a really big personality. I mean, wow. I gained 20 pounds during the pandemic, okay? And I would probably have worked out a little bit more in 2020 because I feel thick. Sickly, but I'm thick. <laughs> this is my third year of doing drag. I'm kind of still a baby, quote unquote, to some of the girls. Okay. I mean, um, I like Lullary. She talks a lot, but. I do not really understand what she's about. Next queen. There is something about going out and drag and just feeling a full fantasy. Menses is coming up to you and being like, there's just something about that, you know? Wow. Hi, I'm Olivia Lux. I'm Olivia Lux. I love her name. I don't know. It, it sounds so good. Olivia Lux. She's a little bit of whimsical. She gives a full-on fantasy. Okay. Her fashion is... So, I like Olivia Lux. I mean... <laughs> I like her name, I like her, yeah. I think, uh, for now, my favorites are Gapnik and Olivia Lux. Rosé, so like like the wine, Rosé, and I think she is Jen's sister from season 12, and I like the outfit, I mean, the outfit, and look, it's Rosé. I'm 31 years old and I live in New York City. I okay. chose my drag name because I absolutely love Rosé wine, pink is my... <laughs> I was right. Next queen. Now I know Gigi good because I met her at Mickey's one day when my house was hosting a party and we were like, bitch, you's cute. And she was like, bitch, you cute. And I was like, okay, let's be friends, bitch. And guess what? She can do hair, bitch. Look at it. Marvel at it. Get into it. Breathe it. Y'all, what y'all know good? My name is Simone. I am 25 years old. Her name is Simone or Shimon? Hey y'all, what y'all know good? My name is Simone. Simone, I mean, she's Gigi Good's sister, something like that. I mean, Gigi did her hair. I mean, the wig is spectacular. 
the wig is it. She, she reminds me a lot of Heidi, Heidi and Closet, yeah. Originally from Birmingham, Alabama, but I reside in Atlanta, Georgia. The Atlanta dressing is very cutthroat. If you win that night, you're only as good as that night. Anytime you enter a competition, you're starting over from scratch. But if you challenge me in my craft, you will know you've made a mistake. Anyone can look good for a show. So even if I like what Beyonce has on, I have to take it to the next level. So coming to the Tamisha Iman show, you don't really know what you're... What? She, she wants to take Beyonce to the next level. <laughs> okay. Tina Turner comes from Tina Turner, okay? So Tina Turner is a legend, an icon. She what? She's a phoenix. She rose from the ashes. It is fire. Tina Turner, Turner and Burnett. That's me. Thank you. I'm a legend with legs. Tina Turner is a... Yeah, I'm the more seasoned. I mean, there's children. There's children, and then there's me. So basically, I'm the babysitter. Or the big dresses. Like, stupid drag. Like, I'm into that. I want to put on a show. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Now, let's meet the last queen. Utica is kooky. Quite the kook. Very kook. Much kook. So kooky. And I am also a little bit spooky. So I do the spooky as well as the kooky. That was a lot of words. So many words. <laughs> she reminds me a lot of Tammy Brown with... I love my lovely farm coopers and the cows and the chickens and the cats. Me it too. Really influenced by drag. I get like that hometowniness, being close to livestock and being covered in manure. <laughs> I love colors and I love a duality. I love things in half and half. I'm always delivering something bizarre, something crazy. Sometimes it's really deep and sultry, or a performance where I barely even move on the stage, but I'm holding you by the balls. Queen of the balls, girl. Like I cover myself in balls all the time. So <laughs> queen of the balls. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, just like it and subscribe if you want. And see you soon in just 21 days. Bye guys.